Today we're going to talk about the power of personal leadership. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to become leaders. Self-employed or owning a business, but be the leader that you can be in your business. Now why is personal leadership so important or even what is personal leadership? Personal leadership are the things that you do to organize your life, to organize yourself as a human being, and to organize your environment, where you live, the people you hang around with. So let us dive into that a little bit more, and let's go into a bit of detail, yeah? Personal leadership is about honoring agreements. If you say yes to someone, you're not going to change your mind. Maybe you will change your mind, but then you will be in communication about this. You will explain what happened, you will address why that might be uh, not appropriate for the other person, but still this is the way you want to go. And understanding the effect on the other person, addressing the effect on the other person. It's also about being in time. When you say you have a meeting at such and such, you will be there. If you cannot make it in time, be in communication. You know, some things can happen, that's no problem. But when you are in communication, the other person can adapt and they know because they might get worried, they might get frustrated, they might get angry. A lot of things can happen in their mind. When you're a personal leader, you consider this. And you are in communication. It's about keeping agreements. When you make promises to people, you keep your promises. So that's not only about being in time, but it's, it's about meetings, it's about things that, you're prom that you promise that you will do. Um, it's, it's, you know, everything that you promise. When you make a promise and you don't honor it and you don't follow up on your promises, it's confusing for other people. Plus, you will know in your head, well, a few things might happen in your head. You, you will have good reasons or excuses, no matter what, what, what you will uh, call them. Uh, you know, in my world, they are excuses. Um, and that's, if you listen to those, yes, you, it, it's becoming more and more difficult to honor agreements. But if you don't, if you just stick to, this is what I promised, and this is what I'm going to do, and therefore, I should not listen to my excuses because you know often it is easier for you to not honor agreements but is it easy for the other person or the people who you have made agreements with no it's also about loving yourself are you highly critical on yourself or do you really love yourself do you own that you can make mistakes? Do you own that you're not perfect? You can still love yourself regardless of making mistakes. And I know for women, we always want to be perfect. We don't want to make mistakes because if we make mistakes, people might see that we're not perfect. So who cares? Nobody is per perfect. And I bet you know that already. Personal leadership is also about how do you treat other people? Are you treating them exactly the way you would want to be treated? And yeah, I know there's a whole lot of subconscious stuff going on here. Because you sometimes don't even know how you want to be treated or you sometimes are not aware of what the impact of what you say or do is on other people. So personal leadership is also about high awareness of your thoughts, your actions, 
and the results, not only on you, but also on other people. It requires that you can immediately track, I think this, oh, but that's not correct, or it's not in alignment, it's not loving myself. All right? It's about the clothes you wear. You can wear whatever you like, but it cannot look scruffy. You, 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 you have your own identity. Everybody has. I love to wear dresses. I love to wear makeup. I, I love to wear jewelry. But you know, you might want to wear something else. But you cannot wear clothes that are, well, <laughs> nowadays is different. I was going to say worn off or torn off. But apparently that's also acceptable at the moment. I don't like it, but you know, it's fashion. Um, but for example, when you go to a meeting, where you're, when you're in front of a group, do you look impeccable? No matter what your clothing style is, that's not on debate. But it might not be appropriate if you speak to a group of business people and they're all in suits and you're in jeans with holes and trainers. You know, it's, and okay, it, it's up for debate, but you'll make it easier on yourself if you align. It's about your health. How serious do you take your health? Do you overeat? Do you sleep too little? Do you work too much? How is your work-life balance? Is that working out? Because if in one of those areas things are not working out for you, it immediately impacts your energy. It immediately impacts how you come across to other people. So it is important that you are not overworking, overeating, not sleeping enough. Because it all impacts your well-being. How do you feel? And how do you feel? That's how you come across to other people. And that can be subconscious for you as well as for them. So those are just a few areas that, that you can work on when you are working on personal leadership. I've done quite an extensive program for a whole year. And if we were half a minute late, we were not allowed in the room. It was that in my perception at that time, childish. But we were being trained to raise our integrity standards towards ourselves, And that has an impact on the other people, on the other party, on the other side. So people usually can feel and sense that they can trust me, that I'm reliable. But I've worked on that. So how do you come across when you work on the, item, on the areas that I just explained? You will come across as a reliable person. People can feel safe around you because they know that they can trust you. They know that it's okay. They know that you address and have eyes for their feelings. They will see you as a fit and healthy person. You might even become a role model. I mean, you don't have to, or you don't, might not even want to. It's certainly not the reason why you should want to do anything around personal leadership. You'll do it for you. Because you will be a better person. You will raise your standards. And that's going to have an effect on everything you do. And all the people you, you, you work with or come across. You'll come across as being an energetic person. Not, uh, more energetic than you were before you started working on personal leadership. Not everybody has an amazing charisma. But most people who really take personal leadership seriously, I bet their charisma raises a lot. People want to hang around with you because you take yourself seriously. You have an energy, you have a vibe 
that people want to be around with. They, they feel attraction towards you. And it's not that you stand, you, that you might want to stand out of the crowd, but you will. It's automatically happening when you really take yourself seriously and make sure that all areas in your life work for you and for the people around you. And that's why personal leadership is so important for you as a business owner. Or when you want to grow from self-employed to businesswoman. Because if you're not a personal leader, you're going to be in your own way. Your, your mentality might not be good enough. You might want to give up. You might want to quit. You might not be able to persuade the people you need to talk to and, and you need to have on board. All kinds of reasons. So it starts there. And you know, you've seen me changing. Uh, I still honor my blueprint for business success for women because once you are that leader, all these areas are important. You need to work on all of them. Still. So it's becoming even more about you. Who are you in your business? So I hope that you understand how serious this is and how important it is to work on you, to work on your standards. It really is. And it's going to change you. It's going to make you feel more happy. In the beginning, it, it costs a lot of commitment and you might feel that you suffer. It's not always nice. But believe me, it becomes, it, they become habits. It, you will grow on it. And you know, I was talking to someone today in the swimming pool. I swim three times a week. And this morning I swam one and a half hour, nonstop, no stopping. I would not have been able to do that had I not had the discipline and had I, or when I, when I would have listened, like, oh, I'm tired, I want to stay in bed, oh, it's raining, oh, I first want to eat, oh, uh, maybe I'll go tomorrow. No, that is not personal leadership. And now it's a habit. I cannot, I, and I was talking to this person under the shower and I said, you know what? I can't do without it anymore because it became part of me. So if you think you are serious about growing your business in any way or form from self-employed to uh, building a business or when you already have a business scaling it to a lot bigger let's have a chat i will add a 15 minute uh, call link so you can schedule a call with me it's all automated and i'd love to talk to you i know i can inspire you i know i can give you at least a few tips so th so that you will be able to take your business further, even if we don't work together. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I love sharing my knowledge. I love helping women to grow, uh, to grow their businesses. So I'm looking forward to talking to you. Take ownership, take leadership, schedule that call. I love you for it. Bye bye.